Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jason here. I wanted to share a story with, with all of you, especially to the parents out there. A little background, my wife and I lived in Europe for the first six years of our marriage. We had two children while we're, we were over there. And so most of our adulting and parenting life was, was just us. We didn't have any reinforcements. We didn't have any backup. But just this summer, my parents moved to North Carolina and have been a tremendous health and great resource. Uh, for us and we've been able to spend that time alone but the last time I was at my parents house right before Christmas my mom said I, I've got to share this story with you and my mom is a very emotional woman in a good way um, and I could see she was welling up in her eyes I was like oh it's gonna be a good story and you could tell it was one of those happy cries and she said that her and my boys my five boys were watching uh, a Charlie Brown special and what they actually tackled on Charlie Brown and the Peanuts was segregation and the civil rights movement talking about different heroes within our culture and American history that were African America that brought that conversation and, and, and movement forward. And um, if you don't know this about me, I have five boys and the fifth one looks a little different from us. He was adopted and he's African American, but we've raised our family in a very unique way. We're not colorblind. I tell my kids we're colorful. I don't think God wants us to hide behind just color blindness, but to realize and celebrate that we're all different. And we might look different, but we love each other the same. We're all brothers. So back to my mom's story. So they've watched this Peanuts uh, thing, and my six-year-old, in his own perfect and unique way, asked Nanny, asked his grandmother, he said, did, did you know that we, we have a black kid in this family? And Nanny was like, well, yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. And Finn, in, in, in just this beautiful way, and totally innocent way, and totally authentic way, said, but you know which one of us it is. And, it, it's, and as a human, I mean, that just shook me to the core that a child could love his brother so much, even though they look so different. I still get choked up thinking about it, that we've raised this child so well that, that he loves his brother so much, he doesn't see those differences. He doesn't expect other people to see the differences. You know what, as a parent, I think 58% of our time we spend our head banging our head against the wall, wondering if we're doing it right. And every so often, you know, we'll scratch that all the time. Our kids and God is showing us that you're doing a good job. So I'm encouraging you parents out there, keep loving your kids, keep teaching your kids love. If your children know love, that all they know is brothers. They don't see these differences in a negative way or even a different way. We're able to celebrate the colorfulness that is the human experience. Keep showing your kids love, keep loving them, invest them, and know that short term and long term, it is paying off because love always wins. I wanted to share that with you. Sorry, I got a little choked up here, but that's life, that's parenting, that's love, and that's what it's all about. Not just in this practice, but in our families and our communities. Love wins.